Good morning. Anyways, again, I know um, people are getting lazy on the couch, which is cool. Use your 21 days to, to do that, to be lazy. If that's what you feel you need to be doing. I know that lots of people are studying at the moment. Um, so if you don't have a proper table and chairs to sit at, often we're sitting on our beds, on our couches. Um, yeah, and just some cool stretches to do in between. In between. It's not going to take a lot of time. It's not going to take a lot of effort from you. But just a nice way to release into the back. So, coming and helping yourself into all fours. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. And you just want to work. You can work with your breath if you want to. If you don't want to, guys, you don't have to. But you're going to feel that you're pushing the floor away from you. And you're sucking your belly in towards the body. Drop your chin into your chest. Call your happy cat. Angry cat. Definitely not happy. And then nice and slow, dropping the belly towards the floor. Draw the shoulders away from you, opening up into the chest, into the throat. Happy cat. And we're going to do this a few more times. Pushing the floor away from you, creating space in the spine, compression into the belly. Dropping the ribcage towards the floor, arching into the back, shoulders away from you, lifting your head up, opening up into your throat. And pushing into the back. I like to exhale that way. And I like to inhale this way. We've got two more to do. Last one. And coming back to your center, you want to pull the ribcage back into the body. Stepping the left hand, right hand, remember we've got to do both. And you're taking the arm underneath the leg. Make sure that when you are going into threading the needle, you never want the hips to shoot over the knees. You're going to put too much pressure into the legs. You want to feel the hips and knees stay in alignment, or your bum can go through the back, dropping onto that arm, just taking the arm up and over, just putting a stretch into your back, just putting a twist into the belly. Bringing the top hand closer to your face, pushing into the floor, helping yourself up, swapping over, dropping onto the other arm, twisting into the body. Top hand closer to your face, pushing into the floor. And then I just want you to bring your big toes together behind you, opening up the knees so you're creating space for the belly, for the belly to flop out, uh, flop out naturally. Sending the hands out, you can drop your chin or you can drop your forehead onto the floor depending on your flexibility. And just feeling a stretch into the armpits, feeling a stretch into the ankles, the knees, the hips. Some people might feel it quite intensely into their back, but just close your eyes, take a few breaths. And walk the hands over to the one side. Close your eyes again, a few breaths. Walking the hands over to the other side. back to your center, dragging the hands back towards the legs, lifting the bodies up, bringing the knees together, making sure the heels aren't slipping outwards, they're going underneath the sit bones, sitting nice and tall into the body, we're going to twist to one side, and then twist to the other side. together but yeah again just taking you away for five minutes have a lovely day